All right, you're locked up, you're isolated, or you're quarantined. What's your routine now? So, uh, with this being day six or five, or day six for us in Minneapolis, uh, whatever day it is for you, um, it, uh, it feels longer than it's actually been, uh, at least for me, in this, uh, this situation with the isolation and there, there might be a quarantine coming up. Uh, so, what, what have I been doing for my routine and how has everything been affected? Well, the gym's closed, the coffee shop's closed. And I'm trying to think of anything else that I would think is mandatory to visit. Yeah, the plant shop is closed. Um, but uh, other than that, I mean, you, that's about it. So, um, yeah. So my routine has drastically changed um, from what it was before. I guess not drastically. That's kind of a, it's kind of a dramatic way of putting it. Um, but now, uh, what's really changed has been my writing habits and also my workout habits. So, what I do now is I get up, I go for a run, or I do the ab roller, and that's it. That's all I got. I mean, what else? Um, there is a park near uh, my old house, in South Minneapolis, that has like a parallel bar and like a high bar, and I go there sometimes as well to do pull-ups and dips. And that's really all I can do. And it's, it's actually refreshing because there's no, I mean, there's no, there's no decision fatigue in that. It's like, you got one of three options. That's run, ab roller, or go to them bars uh, at that park. And that's it. And so those being the only options, you know, it, it kind of is peaceful. It just, it just whittles everything down. And that is... Uh, that's pretty much it. And I can do them whenever I want throughout the day. I just sit with that ab roller over there and I just work with that whenever I want to until, you know, I get cramped up in the, in the abdominals. Um, and then what I do for writing is I will go to the, um, I'll go to the coffee shop, get a coffee to go. No, I don't have a coffee maker. I really should. Uh, I used to, and then I gave it away to a friend. <laughs> I gave it to Joetta. That's who I gave it to. Um, and, uh, so yeah, so that I go to the coffee shop, get a cup of coffee and then I sit in the park and write and it's phenomenal. It's great. It's, um, it's, again, it's really refreshing and, and, uh, eye opening and it just gives me a new perspective on what I'm doing and why I'm doing it. So my habits or my, my habits of work have turned into, um, just, just, same things. It's the same thing, but in a different place now. Or usually, it's 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 at my house as well, is where I'll do um, some writing too. Uh, and then also, there's been a wash of just kind of relief in not feeling that I have to do everything. I mean, there's there's no rush. Uh, there are a few auditions that I have to do, like you know, like film on camera and then like turn it in. But other than that, uh, there's just no. There's really no uh, high expectation to be somewhere or to get that thing done and turn it in. It's just simply, hey, you know, we'll, we'll let you know when this thing is maybe confirmed. So everything is on hold right now. And I understand stress can come from that. But again, the relief comes in that there's, there's really no other way. And what, what is happening right now is actually happening to for the better the betterment of everybody else for the betterment of uh society and the the human race i guess <laughs> sounds, sounds kind of huge but uh yeah that is um that is essentially what um what's 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 happening with my day-to-day -day, my routine and i think as long as you keep the overarching understanding that um this is for the betterment of everybody you really there's really not a lot of resistance to it. And so for me, uh, I'm looking forward to seeing what I can put new into this routine and, and what I can uh, add to it or maybe take away from it. But for right now, that's pretty much it. And uh, for me, the main thing is just to keep, to keep writing. Because uh, if I don't write, then I kind of go crazy. But um, that, is, that is my routine during the uh, isolation, technically not a quarantine. And I just hope to get as much stuff done 
as I want to, you know, because you're kind of at your own pace right now, and that can be scary for some people. Uh, but I think that if you can find, um, if you can be okay with the pace that you're at, and really um, give yourself some grace in that, then you know the day to day is going to get that much more easier uh, for you. So yeah, I hope that you 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 found some peace of mind in this video. Um, I'm still doing Patreon updates as well, so that has not stopped. That's still going, still going to go. Um, so yeah, and you can check that out at Patreon.com/slash Tucson Morrison, and also yeah, it's it's essentially you know you get to see all my unreleased content and. Uh, early access videos and interviews I do with artists that I did before the um, the outbreak. Uh, so that stuff is still there uh, for you to check out. Uh, and again, thank you so much for checking out this video, and we'll see you in the next one.